it's freaking hot. It's like 80 something degrees, 90 something degrees it feels like. Um, and I have to wear all black because it's my job. Anyways, it's 4.01 right now. I go in at 4.30 so I should make it on time. I should have more than enough time actually. Um, I'm quite early today. I'm usually like really late to work. Um, my shift starts at 4.30, so it's 4.14. I got here in what, what was it, 13 minutes the last time I turned it on? Yeah, because it's 4.01. Um, bro, like my hair got frizzy, whatever. Um, today I'm working like a five hour shift, so that means I have no breaks, no, no lunch or anything. Um, I hope I have a good day. I'll keep you guys posted. Bye. So, I'm just getting out of class. Let me swap. Okay. I have to cross over, so just give me a second. Okay, so I'm coming out of class, walking to my car. I swear I almost got run over. People go freaking like 50 miles per hour on residential streets. Like, aren't you supposed to go 25 miles per hour? Anyways, today I had lab. I'm taking bio three right now, just introductory to bio. And I have labs on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it was okay, but I didn't feel as comfortable today in lab as usually. Okay, hold on, I have to get my keys. Let me do this real quick. What? What? Okay. Oh my god, it's hot. Oh, my butt. <laughs> I have leather seats, so. Okay. I have leather seats, so oh my god, it's like not fun in the heat. Anyways, um, as I was saying, I have labs Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's okay, but like, I don't know why, but today we were going over, um, you guys might not care, but we were going over mitosis and meiosis, and I understand it, but then I got lost with the whole chromosomes, like when they start separating the genes. So, we'll see how that goes. Because ha we have a quiz uh, at the end of every lab, so. All right, I'm gonna start driving. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm not. I'm not. I just did it for fun. This is Eva. She didn't come out my last video. Hello. Okay, let me go drop off my bag. I'll be back. Oh, she's just counting money. Look at that moolah. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. So this is where I work. Let's see. I'm going to keep the phone down here. Hey guys, so I'm currently in my car again. I should call these the car vlogs. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just got out of class, so I'm gonna go over to put gas in my car because I don't have gas, and then later go home and do some errands, chores, I guess, and then off to work. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, we came early. Oh, 
hiking to Griffith Observatory. I don't even know if you can see it. Movie or trailer? What's better? A movie or trailer? You just do movie. Yeah. You just record? Please. Wait, so you're, oh, you actually did it on your phone? Yeah, where do you think I did it? I do it on my laptop. Oh. So pretty. Hey. So we're hiking on the Griffith Observatory Trail. Right? Griffith Park. Oh, Griffith Park. Not the observatory. And we're almost done, right, Amanda? Yeah. I think this was a good trail. A really good trail. I like this one more than Reunion and more than Latuna. Pretty out here too. Put down your bags, love. I know in the back. Oh, 
Scott, real quick. I want to say on behalf of all your fans, we're glad you're back. morning it's currently 9 42 a.m um it's just been a uh today is wednesday i have to go to class right now for my final although i don't really have oh my god that's not good the hell my car is doing something really weird the crap so just doing a quick update I am fine so far um, I really got freaked out there I literally just took the car back into the driveway turned it off and told my mom I don't want to go and she's like try it again so it looks fine right now but I don't know I don't know no freeway for me for a while because Oh hell no, I don't want that to happen to me on the freeway. Um, so I'm off to school. I was saying I had a really crazy morning because I was scheduled at 7 in the morning for work, but of course I couldn't go because I had a final at 10. It's like my finals this week, so I wasn't supposed to be scheduled. Then I just went ahead and swapped my shift with one of my other co-workers because she was going in at the time I was leaving and then um, she was gonna work night shift so I was like why don't you work my morning shift and I'll work your night shift and she said sure but I completely forgot that the people who go in at 7 in the morning are the people who open the department and because she's fairly new she's not you know she's not used to it she's not used to opening the department so what I did was I ran back to the store at 8 in the morning and finished like helping out opening and then I was left because for jewelry we have to do counts we have to do like uh, written checks and all that and you know the new people still don't know how to do that and um, they may not be access to it uh, so that's why I went back but someone else came in at 7 30 so I was just helping her out until I left I left at 8 30 so I left her in a good hands, hopefully, you know, doing most of the work, like the paperwork. Because it's a lot for one person in the morning. And now I'm headed to school, and my service engine thing went off again, so now I'm really, really worried. I don't know, guys. Lately, my car has been giving me a lot of... Good morning. Today is the 17th of December 2015. It is currently 9.49 a.m. and I'm on my way to my last final, which is great because your homegirl be stressing over her finals. Um, today, what am I gonna do? I'm probably just gonna, you know, I have my final and then I have to go over to the transfer center to just ask a couple questions. And then from there I have to head home uh, not sure if I'm gonna go out with my mom because we need to buy some birthday presents for my brother's teachers um, also I wanted to go get my eyebrows done because they don't look good mm -mm. <laughs> uh, my cousin offered me to go with her and her friend to black um, the nail salon where they do the eyebrow threads as well and I really want to go to but but I feel like 
I don't know. I think I'm going to be really short with time because I have work at 3. And she gets out of work at 2. So by the time we go and we finish, it'll be too late. So we'll see. Anyways, this is... I can't even flip the screen over, but this is my view. I know, I know. I'm driving again. That's not good, Cynthia, but... I'm going very slow. There's hardly any cars. And I'm almost at my destination, so... You guys wish me luck on my final because it's my last one and this is the one that really counts for me because I missed one project for this class and that project was worth like a good chunk of my grade so if I get an A on this final I'll be safe I'm hoping all right guys I will talk to you later Bye. Update. Um, it is currently 1.42 p.m. I just stepped out of class and actually I took my final and then I went to the transfer center and I literally was in the transfer center for like two three hours because I got out of my final at 10.50, went over at 11 and it's already going to be 2. I've literally been in there for three hours, but I figured out what I'm gonna do with myself. Um, the counselor is really nice, and he pretty much helped me out figure everything out. So it's great, and I started my application, so that's, that's great. Sad thing is I have work in two hours, actually an hour and a half, and I was supposed to go out with my mama, but that's not gonna happen. I feel bad, but you know, school's important, so school first. So I'm walking to my car right now. I already called my mom, I'm told her I'm headed home. And I have to edit that out. But I'm going home now. I have to be home within like 10 minutes if I'm gonna be able to go out with my mom. Um. I'll talk to you guys later. Alright guys, I just stepped out of work. It is currently 11.41 p.m. As y'all can see, my days are very long. Um, God, today I don't know why I struggled at work. I think it was just a crazy day overall. My again because I really need to stop cussing on here. But um, my coworker got very upset today. I don't know why. But she gets very exasperated, I want to say. And she gets buttered over little things. Like, if we touch her own... I need to stop cussing. But if we move her own items, or if we touch something that she's working on, she gets very butthurt. Like, hey, I'm working on that. Don't, don't mess with it. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't trust when people touch my things and it's going to be my name on there and something, something. I'm like, okay, like, you need to relax but whatever um, I'm on my way home right now and I realize that I'm always I'm always vlogging when I'm driving so that's pretty bad uh, so sorry um, anyways today was an okay day overall I overall I feel like it was very productive so I'm very happy because I was able to get my school stuff done and figure out what I'm gonna do and you know, work is work. I don't care. These ladies are very stuck in their ways. And I can't change them. So I have to kind of learn how to work with them. Um, I think everything will work out for the best, to be honest with you. Because I have a lot of faith in a lot of things. And I, overall, I'm happy. I choose to, you know, forget about the BS in life. And I feel like everyone should do that too. Don't let the negative get to you. I mean, take it as experience or whatnot. And just overall, use it as kind of something to make you better, to make you improve. Like, learn something from someone else, whether it be bad, whether it be good, whether 
their personality sucks or not, you know, just don't take it to heart if they say rude comments. Just kind of take it as a learning experience to figure out how some people are because not all people are, you know, gems. They're just really not. And life happens, they're going through stuff, you're going through stuff. And you kind of have to learn how to take that and use that for your own advantage. As in, take it and not let it get to you. Kind of, you know, let it go.